مجمع الأندلس التعليمي تعلم عصري ملهم بهوية وطنية وقيم إسلامية السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Hello dear students It's me again Mr. أسامة عبد الرؤوف Introducing today's lesson Grammar Wishes Grade 12 Unit 7B Lesson 7 Follow the clues But as usual, let's first start by introducing today's value. Please pay attention and listen carefully to this verse of the Holy Quran. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu jitanibu kathiran min al-dham inna ba'd al-dham ithm wa la tajassasu ولا يغتب بعضكم بعضا أيحب أحدكم أن يأكل لحم أخيه ميتا فكرهتموه واتقوا الله إن الله تواب رحيم Now let's start our lesson for today. Unit 7, follow the clues. Grammar, student books, page 107. And workbooks, page 80 and 81. Today's objectives are as follows. At the end of the period, students should be able to, number one, answer five questions to deduce how to form a present wish correctly. Number two, Correctly identify how I wish or if only are used to express a request or a complaint. And finally, number three, identify how to correctly express a regret using I wish or if only. Now open your student books page 107 to answer exercise A. Exercise A. Look at the sentences and answer the questions that follow. Look at the box. Here is a sentence. I wish I lived in the suburbs and not in the city center where the crime rate is high. We have here five questions. Question number one. Where does this person live? It's clear from the sentence that he lives in the city because... He doesn't want to live there and he wishes to live in the suburbs. Question number two. How does this person feel about it? Yes, he is not happy with it. Okay. What about question number three? What verb or tense is I wish followed by? Look at the sentence. I wish I lived. Yes. So I wish is followed by a past simple form of the verb live. What about question number four? Does the sentence refer to the present, future, or the past? Yes, the sentence refers to a present or future wish. Because he wishes that he, can, he is living there now. What about question number five? How can we say the sentence using if only? Yes, the answer is... If only I lived in the suburbs and not in the city center where the crime rate is high. By answering these all five questions, we reach a conclusion, which is the past simple tense is used after I wish or if only when a present or future wish is being expressed. So, عندما نريد أن نتحدث عن أمنية في الوقت الحاضر أو في المستقبل فنستخدم بعد I wish أو if only زمن الماضي البسيط أي أن الماضي البسيط يستخدم بعد if only أو I wish عندما نتحدث عن أمنية في الوقت الحالي أو أمنية في المستقبل Now let's move to the second part of exercise A Here we have two sentences and two questions Let's first read the two sentences Mary wishes she could get some time of work يعني ماري تتمنى أو ترجو 
لو أنها يمكنها أن تأخذ بعض الوقت خارج العمل إجازة مثلا نمبر تو I wish Mary would stop talking about it all the time Now let's read the questions. Question six. Which of the two structures expresses a complaint or a request about a present situation? What do you think? Yes, the second sentence. In the second sentence, the speaker wishes that Mary would stop talking about something, okay? So Mary is talking about something and she is or the speaker is not happy with it. So this sentence expresses a complaint or a request about a present situation. ذلك أننا نستخدم would and infinitive يعني فعل في المصدر أصل الفعل بعد I wish عندما نريد أن نعبر عن شكوى أو طلب لتغيير موقف في الوقت الحالي. What about question seven? What do you notice about the subject of would? السؤال معناه ما الذي تلاحظه بخصوص الفاعل الذي يسبق كلمة would yes the answer is it is different from the subject of wish because I wish here means the speaker wishes that Mary Mary is the other subject يعني Mary هي الفاعل الآخر so here we have two subjects فاعلين المتحدث والشخص الذي نتأمل أو نرجو منه أن يتوقف عن فعل شيء ما أو أن يفعل شيئا ما So here the conclusion is We do not use would when the subject of wish Is the same subject of the main verb If you want to use the same subject We could say I wish I could Not would Alright I hope it's clear Now let's move to the third part of exercise A Again, here we have one sentence in the box and we have five questions. Let's first read the sentence in the box. If only I hadn't cheated in the test, now I am in trouble. So here, it's clear, I hope, someone is regretting that he had done something in the past, right? Let's answer the questions. Question eight. Did the person cheat? The answer is, yes, he or she did. Number nine. How does this person feel about it? Mm, what do you think? Yes, he regrets or she regrets having done it. Question 10. What verb tense is if only followed by? Look at the sentence because the answer is very clear. Yes, the answer is past perfect. Had plus past participle. Yani had with tasrif al Number 11. Does the sentence refer to the present, future, or the past? It's clear. He cheated in the past. So, the sentence refers to the past. I hope it's clear. Okay, let's move to the last question in this section, which is question 12. How can we say the sentence using wish? The answer is, I wish I hadn't cheated in the test. Now I'm in trouble. So if only equals, I wish. Okay? And here is the conclusion. The past perfect, which is had plus past participle tense, is used after I wish or if only when a past wish or regret is being expressed. In Arabic, خلاصة الموضوع عندما يعب نريد أن نعبر عن حالة من حالات الندم عن فعل فعلناه في الماضي فإننا نستخدم الماضي التام مع if only or I wish Okay Now I invite you to watch a video that expresses these uh, three states where we can use I wish or if only Please pay attention and take notes
I wish the video was helpful to you and I hope it summarizes all the rules here. Now it's time for practice and I ask you please to open your workbooks page 80 to do exercise C. We only have uh, two questions in exercise C, question number two and question number three. And please pause the video for two minutes to do these two questions and then play the video again to check your answers. Here are the answers. I wish I, space, to Anna about my personal problems. Yes, didn't talk. What about the second question? If only I, space, my brother's sunglasses, now he won't let me borrow anything again. Yes, the answer is hadn't lost. So he lost his brother's sunglasses and now he regrets doing that. It's time to move to more practice with exercise D in your workbooks page 80. Complete with the correct form of the verbs in brackets. Here, I ask you to pause the video, answer the six questions, and then play the video to check your answers. Here are the answers. I wish you space, take responsibility for your actions instead of blaming other people. Yes, I wish you would take or took because if you dealt with this sentence as a wish or a request, you may use would. But if you want to deal with it as a present wish, you use the past tense of the verb take, which is took. Okay? What about number two? I wish you space had waited. Yes, correct for me to arrive and yes hadn't ordered I don't like what you chose because it's a wish in the past so we use the past perfect had plus past participle number three if only I space not stay up so late last night last night the sentence is in the past that's why you are gonna use Yes, hadn't stayed up. Correct, past perfect, because it's a wish in the past. What about number four? I wish you space not have to move to Poland. Yes, I wish you didn't have to move to Poland because he already moved to Poland, but this is a present wish. That's why we use a past simple tense of the verb given. Number five. If only I, yes, if only I had my own car. He doesn't have a car right now, so he wishes that he, in the future or in the present time, to have a new car. That's why we use the past. So, عندما تكون الأمنية في المضارع نستخدم زمن الماضي. عندما تكون الأمنية في الماضي نستخدم الماضي التام. عندما تكون الأمنية طلبا نتمنى من شخص أن يفعل شيئا نستخدم would or could okay. Finally number six If only you stop interrupting your classmates all the time it's disrespectful Yes would stop Would stop is better here because it's a request okay, or a complaint Also we can use stopped as a present wish. Now let's move to another form of practice with uh, CR questions, which are uh, constructed response questions. يعني أسئلة نقالية. Uh, in exercise A, workbook page 81. Here we have five sentences, and we need to read the sentences and understand the situations and write the sentences starting with the words given. As usual, I'm going to ask you to pause the video and try firstly to do the exercise yourselves and then play the video again to check your answers. Here are the answers. Number one, Anud would like to call Dana, but she doesn't know her phone number. Look at the sentence. Anud doesn't know her friend's phone number. So Anud wishes, yes, she could call Dana, or Anud wishes, 
She knew Dana's phone number. Look at the second form of the answer. Knew in the past. Why? Because the sentence, the original sentence, number one, is in the present. يعني الجملة الأولى في المضارع ولذلك نستخدم الماضي new. Alright? Number two. You want to buy a crime novel, but you don't have enough money on you. What do you think? Yes, it's a, a future or a present wish. So the answer is, I wish I had enough money on me to buy the crime novel. Another acceptable answer is, I wish I could buy the crime novel. Number three, you didn't go. Notice, didn't go. الجملة في الماضي. You didn't go on the, ski, the skiing trip with your friends and now you regret it. Yes, correct. The answer is, if only I had gone on the skiing trip with my friends, I think it's clear. Number four, you wanted, notice, wanted in the past. You wanted Jane to tell you the truth earlier, but she didn't. Yes, the answer should be, if only, huh, what do you think? Yes, if only Jane had told me the truth earlier. Okay, had told. Number five, you would like to borrow your sister's shirt, but she won't lend it to you. I wish, here we have three versions of answers. I wish my sister would lend me her shirt because this could be a request. Or, I wish my sister let me borrow her shirt. أتمنى من أختي أن تسمح لي. Okay. And finally, I wish I could borrow my sister's shirt. I hope you got all the grammatical rules we have studied correctly. And now there is another form of practice for you, which is online games. You can scan these three QR codes to play games concerning wishes. Please have fun. Thank you very much. See you. مجمع الأندلس التعليمي تعلم عصري ملهم بهوية وطنية وقيم إسلامية.